In this video, I will show you how to fix unexpected client behavior, Roblox. So if you are getting an error message that looks like this, then follow along with me for some fixes to resolve this problem. So here we are, as you can see on my desktop. Now, the first thing we're gonna try is using the command prompt. So what you're gonna to want to do is come down to the bottom left-hand corner to your search box and just go ahead and type command prompt into here. Then underneath best match, you wanna go ahead and open up the command prompt. So the first command you're going to want to type is the following, which is ipconfig forward slash flush DNS and then press enter. After doing that, you want to type the next command, which is ipconfig forward slash release and then press enter. And then it's just one final command that we can enter, which is ipconfig forward slash renew and then press enter. So once that's done, what you can do is go ahead and exit out of the command prompt. So just go ahead and type exit and then press enter. Once that's done, go ahead and relaunch Roblox to see if that fixes the problem. So if that didn't work for you, the next thing you're going to want to do is fully uninstall and reinstall Roblox onto your PC. So the best way to do this is to come down to your search box from your desktop and you just want to go ahead and type remove programs. Then underneath best match, you should see add or remove program. So just go ahead to give that a click. That's going to take you across to a screen like this. And what you can do is use the search box here to search for Roblox. Now, what you want to do is uninstall all instances of Roblox. So you just want to click onto each one and then click uninstall to fully uninstall Roblox from your PC. Make sure you do this for each instance of Roblox that comes up, including if you do have it, the Roblox Studio. Once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is open up a new internet browser and you want to come across to the following website which is roblox.com forward slash download so you just want to come across to here and on this website you can see the option to download the windows app so all you want to do is click on to download windows app and that's going to download the installer and then what you can do is click the installer to reinstall roblox onto your system so it just takes a minute or two to do this so once that's downloaded and installed try to launch roblox to see if that fixes the problem now if that didn't work for you there's one final thing you can try which is to clear the roblox cache to do that from your desktop you want to come down to your search box in the bottom left hand corner and go ahead and type run then underneath best match, just click onto the run app. So that's gonna bring up a box in the bottom left hand corner like this. And what you wanna do is type the following, which is percent local app data, then another percent symbol just like this. And then you wanna go ahead and press okay. Now what it's gonna do is load up a window like this. And from here, you wanna go ahead and locate the Roblox folder. So it's in alphabetical order. So you just wanna come down to R, you can see the Roblox folder here. What you wanna do is literally delete this entire folder from your PC. So it might take a minute or two to do this, depending on how big the folder is. Don't worry, as this is not going to delete any saved data or anything like that. Basically what this does, it cleans up any temporary files that have been downloaded which can contribute to this error occurring. So you just want to give it a minute or two to do that. Once that's done, relaunch Roblox and you should be good to go. So that is how to fix unexpected client behavior at Roblox. With that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.